Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Rakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. The new year will be the smallest active duty force since 1940. The, de the, the Department of Defense says military services missed recruiting goals by 41,000 during the 2023 fiscal, fiscal year. The shortfall hits the Army, Navy, and Air Force. U.S. military sees record-breaking low recruitment numbers. 2024 will be a record low in U.S. military recruitment, said government officials. The new year will be the smallest active duty force since 1940. Let's jump down. Officials want young people to enlist, which you have already a lot of Gen Zers saying they are not enlisting. You will have to force them. And a lot of them said they'd rather go to jail instead of come to the army to get blown to smithereens. For what? For a GOV or a country that doesn't treat them right? For a GOV that, that, that does not know how to differentiate you know, the rights of a lot of different things? Yeah, these are some of the things that people are mentioning. And these Gen Zers are bugged out. They too emotional. They soft. They're confused. They don't know what the hell is going on. All right. All they want to do is BS around. So they want to help you no way. But the point being is they already mentioned that they said they'd rather go to jail. Then join your military. Now, it says officials want young people to enlist the DOD. The, the enlist. The DOD reports that only 23% of young people between 17 and 24 qualify to join the military, but even fewer to have interest in joining. The DOD lists the following that con uh, contributes to recruiting challenges. A strong economy. And which has resulted in many more options for young people. A smaller eligible population. What I just see? I ain't even read this yet. Look at this. Gen Z, the generation born from 1997 to 2012, generally, generally has low trust in institutions. Gen Z has increasingly followed traditional life and career paths. Young people have fewer family members who serve, which decreases their, prop, their prop, propensity to serve. A 22 report, 2020 Slocky report from the Federation of American Scientists shows obesity. It's another one. And the U.S. also affects the military. The DOD wants lawmakers to help encourage young people to serve. It says that the Army had, has a program to help recruits qualify for enlistment. The Air Force has camps that allow young people to experience service life. No one wants to join and experience the service life for America, Babylon, the Great. Now, this came by the way. I found this clip, okay, on IG. Now, check this out. This is what a lot of, you know, uh, you know, veterans, all right, you know, that have served for different amounts of times. A lot of them, you know, are, are being, uh, are being uh, treated poorly. You know, and I ain't even talk about the VA hospitals, the ones they got their leg and, and hands blew off. They treat it like shit. All right. And I can tell you from first hand experience. I was in a VA hospital. I seen uh, different, uh, you know, multiple army veterans. OK, had talks with them. And it's crazy because the, uh, the Lord put it on the spirit. That I had a conversation with a Jake. You know what I'm saying? And, and he broke things down to me. He even tried to pay me to get him out of there. How treated, how, how poorly they were treated. And, and, and being in there, but I look like a freaking prison. It's a prison without bars when you look at it. All right, but I, let, let's play this clip. Hello, America. I served 12 years of my life in the United States Army. I had a lady trespassing on my property. And I tried telling the lady to get off my property. She wouldn't do it. She told me that she didn't have to. So I told the lady several times to leave. And the end of this whole story, she ended up calling the police, lying to the police, telling the police that I threatened her life and chased her with a knife and told her I'd kill her. Lied 
to a judge. I told the judge that I threatened this woman. No way I threatened this woman's life and chased her around with a knife and tried to kill her. And they found me guilty. The woman admitted in the trial that she was trespassing on my property. Admitted. She admitted in the 911 call that she was trespassing. I didn't do anything illegal. America, you stabbed me in my back. You want to know why 22 soldiers kill themselves every day? It's because of crap like this. Now look at this. Yeah. Yeah, Babylon the Great is finished. And that's how Babylon about to go out. Babylon about to go out by the way of thermal nuclear destruction. You see? And a lot of veterans feel this way. Not, you know, because this particular situation that he had, you know, but other situations, you know, that they went through of being a U.S. veteran and being treated like shit. Right? Putting your life on the line. Putting your life on the line for a country that don't give a shit about you. There's no way, shape, or form that someone went to fight for their country and to come home and still be struggling. You know? Got PTSD and all uh, sorts of uh, mental problems. You know? From being over there. Sacrificing their life. Losing people that, you know, part of their, part of their team that they loved. Bro, that plays, that plays on your mind. And then have to come back home and struggle? After you the boy, man. E is the complete devil, man. But see, a lot of these individuals that was over there are waking up to the bullshit. They see what's going on. They know shit ain't right. They know that these things that's happening over there in these different countries is wicked. And what E is doing, he's just using them as pawns to complete their wicked practices. And push their wicked agenda. Okay, and steal the resources from the other countries and all and all the other BS that they do. Okay, but as you see, he set this uh his military uh, uh jacket on fire. Yeah, that's how America Babylon the Great gonna be. Matter of fact, I want to get this scripture, Lord willing, I can find it. Um we can leave that there. What it says oh war. Right? Scriptures speak about all, all, all these different things. Okay? I want to get it. <clears throat> it's the Apocrypha. Mm -mm. Well, I think it's an Ecclesiasticus. <clears throat> we got Judith. What is the Solomon? Just bear with me. Just moving through the spirit. Cause I just, I just started this scripture as I was uh as I was speaking. Take that much for the fool, no. Oh, but here we go. A book of Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 28. There be two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry. A man of war that suffereth poverty. You see that a man of war that suffer of poverty and men of understanding that are not set by and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. The Lord prepares such a one for the sword. OK, but the point is in the first verses above, you know, or verse uh, sentences above how it says a man of war that suffer of poverty. And these men went out there to war and now they are you know, not probably him. Uh, not probably him, you know, but there is a lot of veterans out here that are suffering poverty, you know, homeless. You see? And this shouldn't be after you went over there to sacrifice your life. Now, let's get to, let's get, let's get to the destruction of Babylon the Great. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say if you howl of hosts, that it shall leave neither root nor branch. That's why the scriptures talk about in the book of Second Peter, you know, the elements shall melt with feather and heat. Right? What what is able to melt the elements with feather and heat? What well, are the thermonuclear missiles? As it's stated in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 
Is it 54? Yep. Verse 16, it says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And that's talking about the thermonuclear destruction. All right? This is what this is talking about. The thermal nuclear destruction. This is that waster that is created to destroy. And what is going to be destroyed? America, Babylon, and Great. As it's mentioned in what? The book of Revelation, chapter 18. What do it say? For her sins have reached up into heaven. Right? Book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 6. Is it 6? No, no. Verse 5. It says, For her sins have reached into heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. So the Most High remembers the iniquities that America, Babylon, and the Great have done. All the wickedness that they have pushed throughout the planet Earth. The Lord said he's going to visit you, right, for the controversy of Zion. You see? So you got a lot to pay for, Babylon. A lot to pay for. And as... We, as we get closer to the end, we see your demise. We see your downfall. Right? Nobody doesn't even want to fight for you anymore. You see what it said? Since 1940. Since 1940. <laughs> DOD says military services missed recruiting goals by 41,000 during the 2023 physical year. The shortfall hits the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Okay? And this is, it says, uh, since ninth, lowest since 1940. You see? Ain't no, nobody want to fight. They see all through your BS, E. But see, this is why E is going to do a draft. He's doing a draft. He ain't got no choice but to do a draft. Because ain't nobody just freely want to join. And the individuals, we just spoke about this at camp, and individuals that have joined the military now, they didn't join the military to actually fight a war. They didn't join it for that reason. They joined it to financially help themselves, right? When you see these different TikToks and, you know, when they're asking military uh, uh, personnel of, why'd you join the army? Why'd you join the army? You know, and they're at base, you know, and, you know, they got the ones with the women, than the ones with the men, different various ones. And you know what their answers are saying? Oh, I joined because I want a Hellcat, right? I joined because, you know, I want to be around military guys because a lot of them women out are, are over there be getting dug in, all right? Or I just joined because I wanted to help my family back home and, and set myself up, up in a good position when I, uh, uh, you know, when I leave the military that I can, I can, I can be good. You know, it was easier to join the military because I couldn't find a job. You know, their mindset wasn't on to protect and serve the country. You ain't hear that. It was for a reason of to somehow or some way collect a check to be financially straight. That's why people are joining the military, not to actually go to war. Because in their mind, they believe that America is going to be, what, the lady of kingdoms forever. Well, I got bad news. Right? Good news for us. But I got bad news for you. Babylon the Great is going to war. There will be a World War III. The scriptures talk about the beast shall hate the whore. These other nations, yeah, they're going to team up and they're going to destroy Babylon the Great. They're going to burn her with fire. How about that? The book of Isaiah chapter 47 verse 5 says, Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt be no more called the lady of kingdoms. You see? This place is no more going to be called the lady of kingdoms. This is no more going to be looked up to you. This place is going to be made a desolation. This place is going to be inhabited, you know, by different desert-like creatures. Right? You go to the book of Isaiah 34 chapter. It talks about what creatures is going to inhabit this land? And it said they're going to be chilling. They're going to be at rest. They're going to be chilling. You see? But ain't no people who want to inhabit a, a, a Babylon. You know? They ain't going to be inhabited by people no more. So this is what's coming. All right? This is what's coming. So as you, as you see more things like this, and, it, and this is just what he showed. 
I didn't even, I didn't even go through the internet searching, you know, different veterans speaking up, you know, because I see it from time to time. Lord willing, I'll try to put something together through the spirit, you know, over time. But it just happened, you know, I seen this today and I just saved it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to find more and more. And then I'm going to come at you with a uh, low willing. I'm going to uh, come back with another lesson with multiple veterans and multiple videos of everything I'm talking about. How everyone is bucking up against the system. How no one wants to join the military. And they're saying the hell with Babylon are great. And this is just, you know. Uh, a, a, a precursor was to come and it's to show you the spirit of the people is no longer with Babylon the Great. Shalom.